Hello tribe. Today I'm gonna to share with you something super duper cool. Uh, it's been my practice for the last uh, year, actually. I've been working with Bhuganeshwari. So as you know, in the past, I worked with Kali for nine years and I've been initiated to Bhuganeshwari, which has been a bit of a relaxation. So I'm out of the battlefield and into the nourishment and the spaciousness of Bhuganeshwari. And I feel that it could be very, very useful for you to work with that energy because her energy is spaciousness and right now we're living in times that we're not feeling very spacious and we're kind of locked um, and she can provide you that energy and she can provide you this space. So um, there's a few ways to work with Bhuvaneshwari. Um, the first one is, um, I mean, there's many ways. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the mantra Harim, H-R-E-E-M. So Harim is the mantra, is almost like for the, in the tantric tradition. So the, in the Vedic tradition, Om is the mantra. And in the tantric tradition, it, Harim is, is the kind of the main mantra, okay? And Bhuganeshwari is described that she's formless. So she is the mantra herself. She is, her, her form is the sound Harim. So if you want to evoke the goddess or that energy of spaciousness, is sometimes when we say, I'm holding space or, you know, I'm allowing it to happen. And it's this kind of, when we want to be in a, in a, in a space of trust, then we call in Bhuvaneshwari and we're allowing her to create spaciousness, to create, um, to allow things to unfold so we're not interfering our egoic thing of i'm healing i'm doing i'm teaching i am just allowing her to work through me it's kind of her energy so we can sit comfortably uh in any position that is comfortable for you and we, what we're going to do is um do a, a, so, so this particular practice called madhya and actually Shiva was teaching this practice and Madhya is, uh, that's what the scriptures say, um, Madhya is center, means center. So it's basically working with the Sushumna, with the center of the spine, the center of the nervous system. And as we visualize the breath going up the spine into the crown and then down into the very base of the spine, and then at, at those points, at the very end or the very beginning, we hold the breath for a moment between the inhalation and the exhalation, just for a second. And we're aware of that space, because that's where she is. She's in the space. And then we inhaling up through the spine into the crown and we pause there just for a second. And that's where she is. So we're inhaling and exhaling, visualizing the breath going up and down the spine. And at every end, we hold it for a moment, feeling that, and then rising back up. And what will start to happen is that you will be able to stay in that gap, in that spaciousness, while you're inhaling and exhaling too so that you wouldn't lose that after a while. Maybe it will take you a bit of practice, but you will get there. And it is really powerful, actually, way of working um, with, um, with the breath. And, and it's just really beautiful meditation. So we're gonna use Harim, so H-R-E-E-M, and you could do mentally. So let's just kind of sit comfortably together for a moment. And as you inhale, let the breath reach up to the crown of the head. And hold the breath there for a moment. And then exhale down the spine into the very end, to the tailbone, more or less. And feel the space just before you're taking the next inhalation, rising up the spine to the crown.
hold it there. Exhale slowly down the spine. We're going to add the mantra. So you mentally inhaling Hreem. Reach the top. Hold for a moment. Observe that spaciousness. Exhale Hreem. Down the spine. Feel the gap. Inhale Hreem. Reach the top, observe the space, exhale the down the spine. So let's do that three more times, and I want you to try to take with you that spaciousness as you recite the mantra and being aware of the breath rising up and then meeting that big spaciousness that it's very short but it's very much there and you could take it with you as you exhale now and recite the mantra Hadeem. and then inhale Hadeem. Spaciousness, exhale, take the spaciousness with you, stay with it. Okay, keep going, inhale. And exhale. Slowly open your eyes. So, you can try to do that ideally 27 times. So, um, yeah, try it 27 times. Um, and then what you could do is when you are fully in that spaciousness, you can, this is kind of like what they call the void. And in, the, in many Tibetan practices, they say that the void is where you plant the, the, the prayers, the seeds, the wishes. It's like where you kind of, open the, that kind of connection so as, when you finish the 27 time this is the time to practice your meta to practice you know the meta the loving kindness prayers so you could there visualize somebody you really care about and don't focus so much on giving just let the space be there and just watch the space itself creating and providing the healing that the person need right now. Maybe they need comfort, maybe they need love, maybe they need to know that they are hugged. Whatever it is that is right now they need, you could, you just being aware of that space that you experience in your body and you stay with that space and you let that space do the work. And when you're done after five minutes of allowing that space to send those meta blessings to whoever you wish, to, then you just ask, take a moment to take all this energy back into yourself and like almost like it's wrapping you like a cocoon and feel the strength of it and feel the power of it and then you can conclude there. So lots of love and have a wonderful weekend. See you very soon.